Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Trek. I'm your host, Ham Mocha Lover. And right now, we are... Well, we're doing some things here, but... What is this place called? Kalmekia? I think it's time for you to go, son. You got that nice hat, and we want your nice, nice hat. Oh, whoops. Did I click on that go to war button? Oh, you bet I did. And also, we're going to annex the... Elzengel Admin... Admiral... Tate gets beats. Get beats. Thank you for the playing. Ark Hungelsk. I have a good amount of um, uh, compliance too, which ain't too shabby, but at this point I'm just like, let's just go to war. Let's just, let's just do them dirty. Because if we're not doing them dirty, are we really having a good time? Of course not. Ooh, very good. Ah, we got like, less, well, maybe about 250 rifles. Not bad. Very, very good. And you guys go here. And boom, Marinos. Cool, cool, cool. And now we've got a couple comments to go through, as well as talk about the name of our intelligence agency. Couple comments up. If someone says, if you want the double S Reichs Commissariats, then click on the SS Ordenstadt stuff, which turns Reichs Commissariats into double S lead puppet states. So I'm not really sure how to do that. We could kickstart biochemical research, even though we already have that on a lot. Construct a chemical factory sounds like a lot more fun. Um, prospect for resources. Move capital to Moscow. Well, we're not, we can't really do that one, so. It is what it is, and overall, from your suggestions, I selected the one that had the most upvotes for intelligence agency name, and that one was the Reichsabwehrdienst. Nothing too extremely special, but I thought that was still pretty good to use. So, thank you for commenting, and for all your suggestions, including, you know, the good old Abwehr, a little bit of G, Sta, Po, as well. Which was actually quite highly ranked as well, which I would have actually liked to have done. But hey, it is what it is. And we just finished off the well chamber armed forces, auxiliary, retrofitting the army, the shadow core, defense. Well, we will need that, but why don't we just ignore our problems? For a year, we get more consumer goods, we lose consumer goods, less, way less construction speed, minus 60%, better cap, and more political power. Why not? We're going to remove economic stagnation, so. It just goes to show you. If you ignore your problems, they'll just go away naturally, probably. Wait. Economic stagnation, where's that? Economy, security above all. Oh, well, hold on, the Mountain Republic just killed himself, so. Thank you. Oh, there it is, okay, so, okay, so. We get this for a year, which is actually better. We lose, we actually don't lose that many consumer goods anyways. We get 10% more, more construction speed and 10% more production efficiency cap. So I'm actually kind of pleased with that, so. And can we get Georgia with us, please? Oh, and we also want to re release these guys too. Auslan, yes. All right, restore Auslan. As much, as beautiful as this absolutely is, I think it's time to restore it for now. Even though I'd like to have a, just a giant, massive eastern block. But we now have, this is beautiful. Oh my god, I love the mod developers right now. Look, if you just zoom out, it's all the same color. If you zoom in, you can tell it's a slightly different shade. Oh my god, that is so nice. This is just right. Ah, Fitz Wackler. Production demands. Do you have your own unique focus tree? Oh. I've got to play. Oh, well, I think this is the Rex Commissariat tree, but this SS Oldenstadt Oslin. That is cool. Muscovine? Do. Do Muscovine next. And I do actually have, not a cup of coffee here, but a cup of Irish black tea. Because I wanted to try something else a little different. Uh, Muscovine isn't that big, which is totally fine. Where's the borders here? It's up here. Cool. How about uh, Ernst Wahl? Wahl, Wahl. Uh, for my, sorry for my slurps. They're just a little, still a little hot. But if it's not hot, we don't want it. If it's not hot, we don't like them. Oh, that must be some really bad resistance. Let's get the heck out of here. We possibly can. Uh, there. I know we're not on the line yet, but it's okay. We're all in mountains. We're all suffering here together, so. Go on in, guys. See what you can do. How bad is this in here? Uh, it's actually not that bad. It's just mountains, probably. That's probably what the biggest issue is. It's fine. It's fine. We can deal with it for now. Um, sending more German support. We could do that, but... That costs PP. Actually, we do have a lot of PP to spend right here. New present for China. A new system for China. Goodbye. Stability wouldn't be too bad. I'll do that one, because we can. Over here, we're going to grab... Motorized and mechanized, but just get that one. That's fine. Uh, Messerschmitt's... Kriegsmarine Weft. I don't want any penalties. Um, I don't mind a slightly bigger, worse production cost as long as we get bonuses. Azerbaijan's Socialist Republic is gone, which is good. And now, 
Or so the Caucasus. I wish we could go to war with Georgia and Armenia. I'd love to do that. Oh, we own this too here still. So. Uh, you are led by Herbert Baca. Astrachan. Oh, look at Mr. Handsome. Anyways. Um, oh, we need more political power for restoring Ukraine. Which is fine with us for now. This way we have to deal with a lot of less resistance, which is very good, actually. And there you go. Transistor computing. Very good, very good. Grab some of that. Grab some of this. Because German military engineering is never enough. It must be more. Uh, but after we ignore our problems, of course, Germany is agrarian. The industrialization level will change. Is that a good thing? Um, we're currently on a highly industrialized economy. Honestly, if we go down here, we do get some more... We get faster military and city construction speed. By f 10 to 15 percent. Jesus. And we get 50 percent more consumer goods. We lose some research speed and research efficiency gain, but... Honestly, that might just be worth it. Trade for just a wee bit more of this stuff, which is fine. It is very fine. Uh, I want to wait to do that one. I want to wait. The Einsatz group him. There's still a good deal of instability in the more provincial regions of the Reich. The followers of the traitor usurpers are still waging the futile war from the forest around Brauschig, or Brauschwag to the mountains of Bavaria. We need more Einsatz group and units so we can seek out and destroy this menace for good. All right, my friends. It's time to restore the Ukraine and see what this is all about. Ah, uh, and. Ooh, that takes quite a bit of time to restore the Ukraine. But, some comments as well. Someone says that, is there no way to continue with Himmler? Well, of course there is. It's just that I might have to use console commands, oh, Freitag, uh, to do so. And, or maybe, I will have to... Uh, let's go this one first. Missile range, nice. Uh, just uh, make sure that I choose him as a successor in the German Civil War. So... It's going to take some time, but yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure we can get him back, so... I love having our Rex Commissariats. Or not... Th no, they're not even Rex Commissariats. They are our... SS Ordenstadts. As it should be. So now, you, me, we, we have to be ready for the inevitable fight against the Reds. Uh, led by Gregory Zukov. They have quite a few divisions. We need some more. Four, four, four. And what are we missing? We're missing, uh, actually, a lot of stuff. Holy crap. I didn't realize we were missing this much. Um, I do want to get those millies or these refineries done quickly, because you can always use more rubber. Oh, we have too much tungsten now, huh? Oh, that's fine with us. Thank you. What else can we do here? Anything else? War? Oh, engineers. At this point, time doesn't really or technology doesn't mean too much. It still is important, but that's a good working conditions. It should be very nice. We still can't fund radicals here in Hungary because, well. Well, I think Hungary's feeling very good right now. Well, they're still... Well, I guess they're radical enough already. But the Einsatzgruppen. We love the Einsatzgruppen. Ah, Germany is a Garian, why not? Followed up with what? The Schutzstaffel's Playground. This day is beyond our wildest dreams. We are the dominant rulers of the greatest nation on Earth. Because we have bountiful resources at our disposal. We should put some of our researchers' previously unattainable plans into action. What the heck are we missing here? We have more than enough guns, which should be good enough for what we need here. It's just because of support equipment, huh? More supporty. Nice. I love how it's just anti-tank. Nothing more, nothing less. That's all the description that is what you get. Uh, become a spy master because you can. Thank you. And up and down resistance where? Um, there, 35% is pretty high. Uh, eh, I do Warsaw area. Why not? Help lower resistance. We'll need less equipment that way. Eventually, maybe. Um, we need so many more millies. Holy crap. Yeah, we do definitely need more millies. Um, keep that online for now. But yeah, Gary Germany is very good. Well, we will acquire more workers. We'll get Gross Deutschland Shines eventually. All for the bomb would be very good as well. I want to get all, through a lot of the stuff. I just want to go to war with Russia. So we'll see what happens. Ah, very good. Now, the little black book. Can I still get cooed here? Remove the little black book. Aryan science. Germany's new leader. I don't know. That seems interesting, but I don't want to screw it up. Let's see. Sophia Dutman. I am I as soon as I see Sophia, I'm just like, yes. Yes. I don't care who you are and what your credentials are, I am gonna hire you. Based on your name. Not your looks, no. Totally not your looks. Just based on your name. 
Mm, it's not going down. It's still kind of high-ish here. But we'll do that anyways, because we can. Does that help us out? Slightly, maybe, yes, hopefully. Followed up with what? Expanding the RSHA? That would be good to do less damage to the garrisons. In order to better combat the threat of Zion's subterfuge, the Reich main security office will need more resources and power to work with. An expansion of the ranks is in order. The only way to keep the Reich safe is to recruit more ideological officers and civilian informants. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just not really paying attention too much to our tech slots. I mean, at this point, I don't think the Russians will be able to really beat us up. We're not perfect, obviously, but at the same time, we would have a lot of army XP. But the Russians probably aren't feeling too good either. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I could be completely wrong about that. But at the same time, we're trying to get better planes, so... Uh, we love the shoot stuff. Uh, now, I do want to do the little black book. I'm not sure what's really going to happen here. Let's get some tanks of Polsh. Fuel usage is fine. I don't really care, to be honest. Less production cost, but more assault attack. Pride and Hadrish. What else could one experience than pride? You are experiencing pride. Hadrish can only look on in a humble appreciation of this foundation. A nation being rebuilt along the boundaries of reason, justice, and humanity. He is right to do so. Reinhard Hedrush is right. Long has the SS been repressed. They pushed us down. They were too moral to stop them. We've done nothing but attempt to fulfill the people's destiny. Well, this is destiny. This is a great flaw of being right. Those in the wrong manipulate and distort their own perceptions to fulfill their place. The shoot stuff is right, and they are wrong. Hedrush can only look on with hope at what we have accomplished. Everything is improving. The Aryan race is being purified, as it was not too long ago that the Aryan race was on the brink of extinction. We can finally be happy again under the Schutzstaffel's righteous hand. Sanguine hours. Tru these truly are. They are. We will never not be your people. Yes is all I must say. Aye, aye. So, a little black book. I want to do that one, but... Um... Okay, so the Fuhrer has given the green light to an upcoming party publication called Quotations from the Reichsfuhrer Reinhard Hedrush. It will showcase the incredible wisdom and brevity of our new Fuhrer, as well as describe or demonstrate how he's carrying on as, as Hitler's legacy and liege, or former protege. I could be completely wrong about his legacy. Yes. Hedrush would never lead us astray, my friends. Er okay, Eric, you, you show up like that, and you got the job immediately. I'm totally not basing the, my uh, selections here based on appearances. Absolutely not. No way am I doing that right now. Totally not. Chief of the Army. Do we like National Socialists or National Socialists? I feel like we gotta go with Paul Hauser. But then again, supply consumption. This is what I almost always choose, and this helps all divisions. But let's get more attack. We gotta get more attack, right? If we ain't attacking, we ain't feeling good. And let's keep improving this area, too. Get some more passive defense. We do get 1.71, which is really nice. Keep working on all that stuff for now. We could get some better planes. We could get some better fighters. Actually, we have some cruiser holes, which are... Actually, I've not been upgrading you guys, which is a really sad thing for us to do. Um, get some rapid-fire guns. And go double that. And then... Go anti sub stuff. Nice. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. Even though our ships are just still god awful. The little black book. Yes. Yes. I hope we get to go to war with the Russians. If not, I, I would just manually force us to go to war with them. So. Ooh, if this is the case. Ooh. Oh, we made some. Ooh. We're making some screens. We're going to need some CVs. Ooh, that's not good. Wartime fighter CVs? Well, we're going to need a few of them. We're going to go with two. And we're going to go with two of these guys as well. There's so many more millies, man. But why make them when you can just take them? Pretty good. Three at all times for now. At least. Cool. So after our little black book. The Ministry of Speak. There's a real intangible power in words. Language is a weapon. It has to be controlled, lest it be used against us. This is looking so bad, man. It sucks that we don't have enough stuff here. Can we make another carrier? Another heavy cruiser. Why are we making heavy cruisers?
Yeah, these should all be lights. Yeah. Logistics 3. Little black book. Good hospitals, good. The little black book. Issued by Herr Reinhard Hedrisch. And guided by, of course, his wisdom, the RHSA has issued exchange order to state publications. With a directive and clear plan, all printing firms are ordered to publish the Dafür Spricht, provided with the necessary material and script to do so. Due to its black leather design, this book is nicknamed the Little Black Book. This small book is filled with all forms of quotes, words that the Fuhrer has spoken during his lifetime. Designed to be a tool of the total loyalty, this Little Black Book is expected to be handed out freely to all citizens of the Reich. Loyal citizens are expected to make or be able to recite at least 70% of the book's contents at a moment's notice before when encountered by shoot security checks. Failure to do so might result in appropriate punishments. Mass publishing of the book is now underway. Off years, let show guide us forward. We get more daily political power, recovery rate, and more political power. Denounce Himmler. Okay, this is for Himmler, so. And we're going to get serious about ensuring the security of the Reich citizens. We need to regulate the minutia of their everyday lives. The Fuhrer has proposed the creation of an ambitious social credit system. The people need to understand that living is an award, not a right. Uh, I've got to do this, but we need as many civvies as we can right now. Let's go, uh, go for Go for at all times now. For all times, because we are lacking something fierce right now. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad all over the place. Oh my gosh. We need anti-air. We need so many tanks. We need so many fighters. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Motor rocket artillery. That's kind of the catch-all. So two is fine. And then go with this one as well. We need... We just... We need so much, man. Just need so much. So we're going to get some ICBMs. It's only 163 days. That's not bad. Anything else over here? Promises of peace? Keep going with the stuff. Keep going. Keep going. And the Ministry of Speak is almost done. Another comment was, someone says, I should do some challenging campaigns. For example, in the Thousand Week Reich, instead of using nukes, we should use chemical warfare. Non-lethal chemicals versus lethal chemicals. Hmm, not bad. But the Ministry of Speak, what is speech? Only the Schutzstaffel has the answer. The noises and screeches our throats and tongue transform into communicable sounds are not only what they may seem on the surface as, but also us. Uh, to protect our families. Oh, no. But also us. To prevent them from destroying our society, the Schutzstaffel protects our families. To prevent them from disguising themselves as ordinary working men or housewives, the Schutzstaffel must know how they speak and how they hide their traces. The Schutzstaffel will, of course, know. Our nation is under siege by those who destroy it. It is under these conditions that the Schutzstaffel is establishing the ministry. While our strong Aryan families go about their daily work, bettering our nation, the ministry will protect you. At points, you may discover machinery, the purpose of which you do not fully understand. Or you may hear voices where they should not be. They should be there, and they are. Please do not hinder the ministry's good work. Nothing will ever come out of the ordinary. This is ordinary. You, of course, understand. Sometimes you may experience delusions brought on by on them. They will be corrected. These delusions vary from mis misremembering small details to hallucinating false people. Things may feel confusing, but when you are at your darkest, the Schutzstaffel will be there for you. The Schutzstaffel is here for you. The Schutzstaffel, of course, is here. Never forget what we could do. We will not... We will never not apologize for our minds. I'm so, so sorry. The Shadow Call. They will come into the night, and they will come in thousands. We will do our work under the veil of darkness. The morning sun will illuminate our progress for all of the world to see. Once we, of course, can select our next focus. Oh, and you go to war with Norway, too. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so, honestly, um, I'm not going to go to war with the Toronto Accord. So, we got to use Khan's commands here. I know, it's going to suck, but it is what it is. So, we're going to go through Finland. And then Sweden. And then Norway. That's how we're going to do it. I apologize if you don't like the way we're doing this. It's just, I'm not going to go to war with the Toronto Accords. I don't see any reason to. Nice. Fair Trooper 3s, which is fine. Get some of that too. Invisible Ink. Nice. And then Marines 3. Grab some of these guys, because you can't. Economic Recovery. Great. Ah, very good. Uh, come over here. National Socialists. We love National Socialists. National Socialists. We love National Socialists. Times 3. We got more speed already. National Socialist Steiner. Um, you know what? If I chose Paul Hauser here, I'm going to choose him again. He's going to be a really busy guy. And this guy helps everyone's speed. So we're going to choose him. I usually choose the other option, so I'm going to try something else different this time. God, you know what? If people found me out in real life and what I was actually doing, I'd probably be canceled so soon. So please don't cancel me. But Puncilla's game. 
What is a Schutzstaffel if not a faithful servant of the Aryan people? A Schutzstaffel believes in all of us and it believes we have the power to continue. Its quest is strengthening the Reich. Even if it is not wholly uh, present, Aryans are a social people. We have mindsets that encourage us to behave ourselves and to further our standing unlike them. It is because of our mindset that the Schutzstaffel has entrusted you, the ordinary citizen, to check on and report the behaviors, mannerisms, personality traits, and psychological tendencies of those you encounter in daily life or elsewhere. You graciously accept such an opportunity. There is a number assigned to you and you only. There are others for your family, friends, colleagues, or any other Aryans of the Reich. This number is yours. Treat this number as your own limbs or as your own recently born infant child. Status and social standing have always been difficult to understand and difficult to measure for ordinary citizens, but the Schutzstaffel, in its mercy has decided to present to every Aryan of the Reich their position in the universe. Inherently good deeds such as participating in community service, exceeding work quotas, reporting to the SS, report supporting the Reich in all of its endeavors, and placing loyalty in an Aryan Brotherhood as the top priority in life will increase this number. The Schutzstaffel has not wasted the time creating a list of wrongdoings. If you are not actively aiding the Schutzstaffel and the Reich, then you are working to destroy it. The number is entropic. Stagnancy will only make it worse. This number is yours, and yours only, for an important reason. To be loyal to the Reich is to be willing to overturn them, even if they have disguised themselves as colleagues, friends, or family members. To be loyal to the Schutzstaffel is to realize that they were never your colleagues, friends, or family members. To not only do so would endanger the number. The number is the Reich's black god, and as such, it is willing to take away or destroy it. It is not safe, satisfied or satiated. Watch your infant. The purpose of punishment is to teach. We will never not beg the forgiveness of the merciful. The cradle has tremors. Okay, very nice. Alright, my friends, so I do apologize, but we will be using console commands for this part of the episode, which I really should have allowed to use war goals against these guys earlier. Oh, well, crap. Hmm. I really don't want to go to war with the Toronto Accord, so let me go ahead and do some funky stuff. Alright everyone, so, totally did not use cons commands to go to war with the Finns, and totally not guaranteed by the Americans, because I really don't feel like killing the Americans yet. Yeah, they're not really interested, I'll be honest. Not really interested in killing them for now, maybe later on, but right now, sorry Finland. But you're kind of on your own. Of course with Sweden too, but still. Um, if we send our boats out, they're just going to get destroyed, so go on home. I think we put carriers on these guys, do we not? We did, and they do have a, a plane or two. Which is okay, not great. Okay, not great. Hopefully, we can do okay here. What are the losses like? Uh, let's see, 11,000 versus 48,000 is pretty good. 13,000 versus 50,000? Not bad. Oh, uh, wait. They signed a white piece. Huh. Well, then. Muscovine? You're not very good, are you, Muscovine? Alright, after the Shadow Corps, the new Panzers. Europe has forgotten the touch of our tank treads on its soil. Just over a decade ago, our armored columns seemed to roll the continent's decadent democracies in a fine meal like powder. Let's honor this glorious legacy by building more Panzers. Absolutely, my friends. Oh, whoops. Thank you for the free equipment, Finland. Go right on in, boys. Go right on in. Castle Lonely says fine, whatever. Anything else here? No? Ah, uh, Finnish occupation. Oh, Yugoslavia's still going to war with these guys, huh? Okay, well, good luck. Good luck with that. So we're done making infantry. Convert them more to mechanized for now. Once upon a time, Finland used to be a faithful ally to the other Greta German Reich, but with one way or another. The once victorious nation of Finland has been defeated and subjugated or subjugated, sub subjugated to foreign rule once again. The occupational authorities propose a various, few various ways to administrate occupied Finland with greater efficiency, including the option of an indirect rule puppet regime or direct rule from Germania. Direct rule? I'd love direct rule, but for now, we are okay. Odenstadt, Finland. Look at that. Carl Ulrich, hello there. Kind of handsome, I will say so myself. Quite handsome. And we're, of course, getting some more Omni XP, which is great. Ah, uh, Paul. Move a little faster. Josias. Anything else? You're level 6. He's really going to attack. Holy crap. 
nope, nothing else, which is fine, totally fine. And we'll go to war with, the, with Norway as well. Um, can we actually lower this? Wait, why is this 153? Oh, okay, so, yeah, we're in the center here, so... Let's lower it. If we possibly can. Suicide pills, very yummy. Hama Ratada. Very good. I see BMs. Oh, yes, please. Level 2s. Very good. Got a, quite a while on that, but who are we choosing? Alto Kishna. Oh, I've got to go with Alto Hafta. When you dress up, hey, if you dress up like that, I instantly have to hire you. No ifs and or buts. Instant work promotion. Stockholm is the nicest time of year. Uh, let's see, the auxiliary. Did I say what we're going to do next? I forgot. Acquire workers. Okay, there's nothing there for it. Okay, well, whatever. After acquire workers, then what? A gross Deutschland shines. Yes. Yes. I think we're just going to demand to go to war with the... Pretty much everyone else. We'll see, though. Let's see first. We shall see first. Malmo. How are your grenade attacks? Thank you, thank you. Keep going. Oh, do we need him? Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Romania getting kind of very aggressive. State of Serbia. Peter Dumistrescu. Goodbye, Sweden. Goodbye. So many things are done, researched. Nice. Um, pretty good. With Sweden being utterly defeated by our superior forces, with the question of Swedish occupation comes to mind. While we can handle the Swedish people with more direct occupation, a tactic of the indirect rule might also be more effective as a way to control the masses. Yeah. The Triple S becomes the ruling party. Uh, that's a very nice, nice flag, Philip Bule. Very nice. Get ready to go, boys and girls. Get ready to go. When in doubt, gas them out. Diplomatic training is nice, and here we will go. With uh, we might not be able to win here immediately. These guys definitely will be able to. But everyone else, it's definitely going to be a mixed bag, especially up here. It's going a little better now. Gross Deutschland shines with, uh, not that one yet. All for the bomb! Yes, that one's next. Now these guys have been cut off now, which is very nice. You guys, I'm sure, are not going to look very good, but we're going to throw you in the water anyways because we can. Never mind. Okay, you're stuck. Whatever. Get out of here. Any upgrades? Combined arms? You might as well go with combined arms. We've lost how many? 26,000 versus 118? Not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Go on in if you can. Passive defense. Very good. Very good. And there goes Norway. Now what? Once a subject of the Reich, Norway is now under our direct occupation. Now Norway can now prepare for German integration as a first major step. First steps towards airmanship, direct rule. Now is that all we can do? I kind of want Denmark under here, but like I said, I don't want to fight the Americans. I'm going to play as this nation again sometime. Probably be play as actual Himmler. So, yeah. At the very least, let's just go to war with the boys to our east. Apologize about the borders. I know they're incomplete, but still. I don't see anything, anything else here for this stuff. Aluminum St. Petersburg is fine, whatever. Uh, I forgot. More millies, right? There we go. Gross Deutschland shines. 
Oh, for the bomb. Because right now, we're still lacking quite a few good things here. Nice. Can we actually not win here? Huh. I mean, we didn't give them a lot of time to prepare for themselves, so... We'll see first, we'll see. Keep building, keep building, 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 building. Go with three, go four. Do that first. Do that as well. A little bit more of that. Nice. And before we go to warp, let's save the game real quick and get some more water. And then up my cons commands. It is what it is. I'll make sure we're not training. And that we're good to go. Russian Republic, both these guys, no one cares. Do they not immediately attack us? Second German Soviet War. As part of Germany's ideological goal, the German leadership has once again declared war on the Soviets, citing security threats along the quasi borders as reasons of this invasion. On top of this, Germany has claimed that the evil Bolsheviks shall perish for the safety for the safety of humanity. Seeing <coughs> excuse me. Seemingly ready to finish what their many before them have failed in the past, fully conquer the Russian behemoth. Rumors of a possible fr United Front are circulating, but the Germans are unhinged by the prospect of another long, dreadful logistical war in the cold trenches of Siberia. Will the Germans be able to finish what Hitler had failed to accomplish? Back at it again. All right, everyone. So this is way beyond where we just cut off, just because I did the entire war against the Zukov, and it just—it was not fun. Like it is pissing me off so much. Like I am sorry. But, like, those, the war against Zukov is not done yet. It, it technically is content-wise done, but for gameplay-wise, it is one of the worst things you could do in Thousand Week Reich as Hadrish. Like, it is not worth it. And I was, I was just so aggravated from this war that I'm not going to show you how bad it was. It's so bad that I even took out, like, Romanian anger. And they gave me a little bit of trouble, but, like, I'll be honest. There's, the devs have put something... Or some had some hidden mechanics behind Zukov here to make sure that you don't win. Because right now we've got this thing called uh, where is it? Like, oh, we have excess conflict marine, and I'll show you all the focuses we've done. Maybe I don't know. I I've done so much. We have a hopeless war. Basically, if you can't win fast enough, you get screwed over. You lose political power. You lose recruitable population factor. You lose weekly stability and war support. Even if you win, you still don't get rid of that. So I apologize. But if you want to read about these focuses, please go right ahead. And this is just the devs have pissed me off. Pissed me off so much with this god awful war. I mean, at one point, I had three 20 combat width mechanized divisions versus two 6 combat width infantry with air support, and we still couldn't win the battle. Full, and we had full, like, unit strength. So, I do not understand what the devs are doing here. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It literally makes no sense what the devs have done for this war, and this war has to get redone. It, in my opinion, it's not done yet. And it's super god-awful. I do not recommend it. Now, I'm sure some of you guys watching has have done it and are like, oh, oh, it's okay. For me, no. Like, this was one of the worst things I've ever done in Thousand Week Reich. Probably not as bad as trying to win the war against Romania playing as Hungary, but oh well. But in all honesty, like, never again. I'm not doing this again. Like, this was crap. This was a bunch of crap. And I'm sorry I'm not going to show you what the war was like, but what the hell's going on over here? Like, it, it's bad. It's really flipping bad. Well, they want to attack. We'll attack them right back. And you're going to force the attack to kill every last Hungarian off here. Because, like, I'm sorry. Like, it, 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 it pushed me over the edge. In terms of just getting, like, a lot of this stuff. Finishing a lot of this stuff. I don't know who the devs are. But I'm incredibly disappointed in them. And that I don't want to do this again. It's so bad. I do not want to play... Thousand Week Reich again because it's so bad. It's such a slog fest, and you get arbitrarily penalized for it. You know, it's one thing, you know, with Zukov there, you might have some industry, but when we began that war, they didn't have Moscow, they didn't have the Caucasus, they didn't have uh, Adolf's Berg, they didn't have any really, too many major industrial centers to begin the war. Sure, they had Omsk, they had Novosibirsk. That's pretty much it. They got some manpower, but we have way more than them. Way more, more, more manpower than Russia. Asia, Russia. Makes no sense. 
Look how many divisions these guys have. Holy crap. Convene now. All convene at the same time. That's just literally what you gotta do. Uh, do we have anyone who can force the attack? It's literally just grinding him out at this point. It's gone so bad that we ran out of things to build. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really disappointed in the devs. I really am. I try to support the all the devs that I play as much as possible, unless their mechanics are just so BS that I can never support them. Like, unless it gets reworked, I I can't support the devs anymore. Like, it's it's. Uh, I wish I showed you, but at the same time, I'm glad I didn't because it's so bad. It, it's just beyond awful. And I made this guy's 40 combo with two, so like I get it, supplies aren't supposed to be great. We do have support companies, but still, still. <laughs> but the occupation of Hungary. At the last elements of Hungarian resistance surrendered. Hungary is now effectively under our control. What should we do with this piece of occupied territory? Set up a public government, of course. Who was the other group that we're going to take out as well? Uh, Serbia. It's fine. So now we've permanently disabled our ability to get more worse, uh, more manpower, or not manpower, stability. So. Not sure what else to say. Except that I'm extraordinarily disappointed in the devs. They just made it artificially difficult for no reason. You think that Hadrish, a man in our timeline who was killed because he was too effective, cannot figure out how to deal with partisans, especially after fighting Zukov. Makes no sense. It makes literally no sense. Hadrish was killed because he was too, too efficient. And I get it, maybe it wasn't during a war, but still. The thing that the Germans wouldn't learn after their own civil war about partisans is mind-boggling to me. How would you guys win this war now? Anyone else up here too? We can take out. I'm sorry that I'm very upset with these guys, but at the same time, no. No one gets the devs don't get slack for me. Excuse me. Who the hell is this? You're coming in, villain Fuchs. I don't care how many guys have to die to, for us to win here. We even have green air. Look at that. Nice. Doing tons of damage. Doing tons of damage. Improved firepower is not bad. Heavy SP artillery. Might as well grab that. Yeah, I just turned into a grind fest. Look at that manpower we have. Or there we don't have. Oh, there goes Serbia. Good. Drop tanks, get some cast three. Get some of the stuff because it doesn't even matter at this point anymore. So I I just I, I apologize for this, but it's just they made it not fun. They literally just made it not fun. It just turns into a grind fest. And you can't get any more stability. Oh, occupation of Serbia though. As the last elements of Serbian resistance surrender, Serbia is now effectively under our control. What should we do with this little tiny stupid state? But yeah, like I don't know why the devs wanted to do this. Make it artificially difficult for no reason. Just to make it artificially difficult. Just to piss us off. It's so bad. I've even ran out of things to build. Issue of Perot. Now that we've come into control of Perot, we must decide whether it belongs to Yugoslavia or Bulgaria. Let's do Yugoslavian. Screw the Bulgarians, man. You're gonna do that. As many of you. We failed a thing. What? Why do we have supply issues? Like, seriously. Go and fix all this stuff up. I don't care. We're gonna go straight in. Let's go and plant some agents here, too. But yeah, I'm never doing that war again unless, like, I'm extraordinarily ready. Like, I get it. Like, I didn't go to war with enough soldiers, I, I assume. But, like... You have 40 combo with infantry divisions. And your superiority. And you still can't win. What's the point of playing? Uh, 
Oh yeah. I've been just so focused on other things and getting all this stuff updated. Heavy tanks, these tanks, artillery, advanced artillery, wartime CVs, fighter CVs, there we go, nice. Let's go in. They're doing literally for, oh wow, look at those militia divisions, nice. Oh, look at that, oh, they, well they literally died. So, not bad, not bad. Need more guns? We can get you more guns. Why wasn't Romania this difficult? Why wasn't Zukov this difficult? How are we able to win so easily? They have a rude economy, that helps. Protectionism, harsh import tax. And I get it, one of their national spears for Zukov was plus 20% division defense on core territory. But at the same time, 20% is not that much. Like, it can be pretty strong, but it's not a deciding factor whether you win a war or lose. I think I lost in the war, what, about... Uh, letter from Mount Athos. For several years, the Greek and Italian region of Mount Athos had been protected by the great fear of Adolf Hitler. After the leadership of the monastic republic requested direct protection during the invasion of Greece, this led to Mount Athos being almost unscathed by the terrors of the war. This relationship, unfortunately, came to an end with the untimely death of Hitler and the political strife that followed. However, a telegram from the ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople... Uh, Athenagoras I has recently found itself on the fear's desk with a curious request, the continuation of the policy that had priorly held for over a decade under the previous administration. Let's make the fear, Reinhard Heydrich, the new high protector of the Holy Mountain, and ensure good relations with the Orthodox clergy of Greece. Of course, only these two accept. That's fine, that sounds smart to do. Excuse me, can you not win here? Why is there a flag different colors? How are you not be able to... Okay, so let me... Let me see this. What land auction are we on? Command operations is god-awful. I'm never going to use it again. I'll probably go strategic theorem. Why are we taking so much attrition? Why? Just because of mountains? Is that it? You're punished way too harshly in this mod. I really want to support this mod, but at this point, it just pisses me off so much. Alright, I think that's it. That should be it for us. Um, for this entire thing. Hold on, let's see. Let's take a look here. Greece. With the events reminiscent of the wars of 41, Greece has come under our occupation. Now we've decided to do this territory. It's fine that. Well, honestly, no, I'd rather just eat them all up, but let's see who we have here. Oh, it's just us. Bulgaria is completely under us. Go to Altenberg. Alright. Oldenshot Ungarn. Very cool. Rumen. Fuchs. And we own Bennett. So, I guess that's it. And I apologize for being, like, angry and upset but like it was so bad i don't want to show you what happened but like it has ruined my mood for a thousand week right completely and i hope the devs look at but it if you enjoy the campaign nonetheless leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow in another campaign thanks for watching have a great 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 rest of your day